Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, season 40, and this is war number four. And we're going up against an alliance called, what is this, Sparta Revolution. This is Sparta. All right, let me see, who did you ban? I hate y'all. They banned uh, Gallon. Um, they probably think they got something. But anyway, Gallon, uh, Kingpin, and Penny. All right. And let's look in here, see what we got going on. Path three. Nobody here. Oh, and then I got I Doom there. And he does like to get um, armor ups. Okay. So that's going to be Namor. Uh, let me see who we got. Da, 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 da. Okay. So Nimrod, I'm going to bring in Nebula. Um, hmm. Interesting. So Nebula for that Nimrod. Claire. And, hmm. Should I bring in Spider Man twenty ninety nine or Titania? Hmm. I might. So Claire, maybe, but Nebula for sure to take out that Nimrod. Um, Namor for sure to uh, handle well. Yeah, to handle that uh, infamous Iron Man there. You know, uh, trying to think. Claire can still do it, but that mojo can be annoying. That mojo can definitely be annoying. Um, yeah, I may... Because he doesn't get armor ups. So I don't have to worry about uh, the bleed. So, yeah. And if I bring Nebula, she can also handle the uh, Omega Sentinel. So we really just need to worry about that mojo. And Spider-Man 299 can definitely do that fight. So can Titania. Hmm. My Titania is ranked four. My Spider-Man 2099 is ranked three. So yeah, I might bring in Titania. Yeah, that might be the play. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. All right. So you see the team I'm going in here with. Namor, because they banned Gallon. And let me tell you something. I have definitely felt the difference in difficulty going up in tiers. You know, not just the fact that I'm fighting rank four champs these days, but also uh, when they place their defense, it seems like they're putting a lot more thought into it you know like they'll ban gallon but then they'll place defenders that normally gallon would just run right over you know so uh it's definitely different and uh not too bad not too bad this first uh season uh with the alliance here uh has been going pretty decently a lot of communication and um and we've been doing pretty well. So this first fight is against uh, infamous Iron Man. And as you can see, uh, I'm trying to be as aggressive as I can. Uh, Namor is going to reflect all the damage that he takes, but that I need to practice. I need to practice a lot more uh, evading that right there because it's unblockable. So if you don't evade it, you're going to get hit. And I seem to be uh, getting clipped a lot with it, you know, and it's annoying, but 
once I start getting used to fighting him, you know, I'll be able to do that. Now, this wasn't uh, unblockable. His special two wasn't unblockable. Now, when I read a little bit about him recently, it said that all of his specials were passively unblockable, I thought. Maybe I misread that. I'll have to go back and look. But that's why when I saw that, I was like, okay, wait. If that's not unblockable, then I need to be pushing him to his special two more often uh, since I already know that I don't do so well evading his special one. All right? See? That one, it didn't even move that time. I don't know why, um, but it happens. Like, see, that is what I was trying to do before. You know, I usually get clipped, not hit full on. So I'm just like, man, come on, you know? And so I'm trying to be aggressive still. You know, this is a rank three Namor. And if this keeps up, I might have to take Namor up. I might have to take him to rank uh, four. All right. Uh, but in any case, uh, we're playing it safe here. You see that I'm blocking, trying to keep him from firing that special one. And we got him down. I was definitely not sure that I was going to win that fight. But we got that fight done. I definitely, definitely need to uh, evade his special one better. But if I can simply evade it enough that I'm only getting clipped by it, that's not a lot of damage. So anyway, uh, on to section two. As you can see, the minis were cleared. Uh, I'll be getting that mini uh, further up. But this is why I brought Titania. When I saw that uh, Mojo, because Mojo degens you based on your buffs, okay? Um, if you go in after him with a champ that has a lot of buffs, you're going to degen to death, you know? But Titania doesn't gain buffs. She's immune to them. So I could have brought uh, Spider-Man 2099 as well. He does this fight quite well uh, against uh, Mojo. I've done it before, but Titania is ranked four and Spider-Man uh, 2099 isn't. Uh, but I'm going to get him up there. You know, it's just that other champs have gotten a priority. Like Titania, she was tankier than Spider-Man 2099. And when I took her up, it was because she was tankier and didn't get those buffs. She also had that unblockable, unstoppable haymaker in the beginning. She can also tank special threes. You know, so she had... A little bit more of what I was looking for at that time but I still want to take spider-man 2099 up uh, I don't use him very often these days uh, because they pretty much fixed uh, the one thing that I was using him for which was the boss fights in Alliance war they made sure to take care of that because he was making those boss fights well fun but much much easier than they had planned uh, the boss fights to be uh, and if you guys remember when I was using him, you'll remember those fights. I was taking the boss almost every single time um, and, and one-shotting him every time with Spider-Man 2099. All right, so now we're going to go up against Omega Sentinel. And uh, I believe I said this before when I was going to see her again. I'm just going to go in with uh, Nebula. And if I need to, I will heal up. You know, but I'm not going to go in with somebody who is not shock immune against someone who's getting a lot of armors. Just not going to do it. All right. There we go. Shocked her. And now I kind of messed up here because I should have waited until I had uh, a special two. But, you know, it is what it is. It happens. So I'm just building back up knowing that the next time it will be the end for her. All right. And you can see here, I'm just building up. I can evade her, her heavy against the wall. So that's not a problem. All right. And there we go. This time with the special two, boom. 
and she's down. But I took a lot more damage than I really wanted to. That was one of the reasons that I didn't like going in with um, Nebula when I know I'm going to need Nebula for the next fight. So look at her health, you know. Um, I had to use this because uh, you probably haven't noticed. I usually fight in three parts. The initial where I'm looking over the fights. The second one is where I clear section uh, one. And then the third one, I'm usually clearing section three. But you'll notice that I basically cleared section one and I'm going on to section two. I said three, didn't I? Uh, section two. And that's because we were talking, um, planning, and then they had to go to sleep. And we had not finalized our plan. And so I went to bed and then the next day came back. And so that's what you saw. And I just decided to use it. We didn't have um, any crisis or anything like that in energy, but I had it and I haven't used it. So I said, let me go ahead and use that so I don't have to worry about it. I can uh, take the boss, uh, the mini, um, just in this one go and not have to worry about it. All right. So uh, this is a standard fight. As you can see, I'm at two bars. So now I just got to parry fire that special two off and the fight is over done and done uh so not bad uh didn't die so that's always a plus and um and honestly uh it really doesn't matter because uh, i was fighting um rank four nimrods before even uh, i don't remember if that one was but all right uh after a little time we're gonna come back and you will find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. A uh, very good win. Uh, Sparta fought well. This was not an easy war. And as you can see from the score, it was a pretty close war. And at times, it was really close. Uh, but in any case... Um, Kudos to you guys. You fought well, uh, but that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.